What is going on guys, Northwest Misha back here with a brand new video and today we're going to be talking about everything that I think is wrong with my 2000 528i. Anyways, the first big problem I have is I haven't got my exhaust together back yet, that's why I haven't been driving it. If you guys don't know, I haven't driven my car for a few weeks now um, because it's just too loud and I'm trying to get the exhaust back together but I don't have a welder and most of my friends that do have welders are busy or their welder is broken. Um, I'm trying to keep myself on a low budget and um, I don't want to go to a shop and pay for it. Um, a lot of shops would either charge me $200 just for this simple job or I can just wait a little bit longer and get it for free from my, one of my friends but that is probably the biggest thing that's preventing me from driving but the other things are since I have gotten my new headers it only has one set of O2 sensors which means that the rear ones are still in use but they're not going to be getting anything and it's going to be messing up with my um, computer and my ECU so I'm gonna have a code for that and then also since I removed my secondary air pump I'm also gonna have a code for that now to remove them I can easily get a tune um, I found a really good tune that will increase my horsepower and remap everything and delete those codes for around $350 which is a decent price considering that most of the other tunes don't give that much options and they're over $400 um, so I'm hoping to get that soon by the towards the end of summer or maybe closer depending if I'm able to sell any of my car parts um, my older car parts at least and uh, and then have my car working at you know at a good level um, anyways the next big problem I have is that um, I cracked my valve cover and currently uh, the only thing that's holding it is uh, JB weld <laughs> It's it's kind of a temporary fix. I found someone with a valve cover I got for free. Um, the next thing that I think is wrong with my car is the uh, my suspension. Currently, my suspension is not on correctly. Um, in the front, I have coilovers, but in the rear, I have my stock um, suspension. Um, I still have my rear coilovers. I just never put them in because I never needed to. Um, but soon, I think I will have to do it of camber first of all and I want to get spacers so I want to kind of replace everything so yeah the um, rear suspension I need to replace and some other mechanical parts and then I need to flip the front um, suspension because the camber plate is not on correctly so it's kind of it's a little janky but I've been driving it on like that for a while and I just realized that that's a problem so the next thing that I think is wrong is there's a lot of paint chips in my car um, a lot of in the front I just got myself some um, touch-up paint which will be another video um, that I'll post soon after this one um, and there's also on the rear bumper I have a lot of you know scratches and stuff from the one time when my friend accidentally bumped tapped the other guy one no, he was on the hill in my neighborhood so um, but that stuff is kind of easy to get off, and um, I think I might be able to respray paint it eventually, but currently I'm not going to do anything about it. Um, and yeah, I think I think that's about it. That's basically everything that is wrong with my car at the moment. Um, it's not a lot of things, and it's just, it's just all, quite a bit of work, um, but it's work that I can do myself, which is a good thing. And yeah, I think by the end of the summer she should be running really, really well, and I hope you guys are excited for that. And I'm really excited too, because I, I like you know getting more power, and that's what I like to do with this car. Um, it's interesting to see how you know you can bring a car from 190 horsepower and just slowly build it up, 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 and then you never know. In two years from now, this good thing could be turbo for all I know. And, whole engine could be rebuilt and we're making 600 out of nowhere but that's depends on me and depends if I have time and depends on you guys too if I will get 
you know, good enough use and have a good financial stability to uh, get this thing on the road. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.